Peace to you, friends of Christ, friends of Mount Angel. Uh, today is Good Friday, the day of the Lord's death. And I want to just offer you, I, I think it's just one thought, a brief thought. Of, of course, there's so much to say, so much to ponder. And, and I really do wish you uh, a kind of, um, at least some, some time uh, of gravitas at uh, this day the gravity of the of the death of Christ but as we remember his death on this day it's not it's not a kind of mourning that we're remembering with for for the lord who, who was crucified is risen and from the perspective of his resurrection we are able to somehow penetrate the gravity the tremendous gravity of the kind of death he endured for our sake in today's liturgy, we listen to the proclamation of the gospel according to John. And that's always the case on Good Friday. The reason for that is, is because of the four evangelists, John's account of the Passion is, has more on the surface of the text, the penetration of the, of the meaning of Jesus' death and the glory that is already present there. And the example I'd like, and, and so that's a clue for you today as you listen to the gospel or, or meditate on, on the whole thing. They say we don't have time to go into the whole thing. I want to go just to the end and to the moment of Jesus' death, which is very carefully delineated uh, by the evangelist. Jesus has just had the scene where he, where he hands uh, his mother over to his beloved disciple and the beloved disciple over to his mother in place of himself which is already amazing. And then the evangelist tells us this, and here's what I want to concentrate with you. Jesus, aware of everything that was going on, imagine this, Jesus is dying, six hours he's been there, but he's aware of everything that is going on. This is, this is God acting. Jesus, aware of everything that was going on, said to fulfill the scriptures, I thirst. He's about to die, and he decides to fulfill one more scriptural text. I mean, amazing. But he says, I thirst. And then he's given to drink. And then these are the words I want to zero in on. And then bowing his head, he handed over his spirit. That's the way the evangelist John says Jesus died. There's levels of meaning to the language there. He handed over his spirit, and, and, and the most literal level means he stopped breathing. Breath, spirit. But on a deeper level, this is Jesus handing over the Holy Spirit to us. In the liturgy, at this moment in the story, uh, though the story isn't quite over yet because the, the, his burial will be recounted, but at this moment in the story, the whole assembly falls on its knees and is there in silence. What's happening in that silence? The Holy Spirit is coming out of Jesus' body and penetrating us. This is what the death of Jesus is. Already life for us. We could say, Already Pentecost for us. Jesus bows his head and hands over his spirit. It would have been like his last feeble breath. Ah, and that's the Holy Spirit coming into the world. <laughs>